Kirby Smart has signed a massive deal with Georgia football. He will remain the head coach for the next 10 years, or at least contractually, and that's the way that it goes. But, uh, but yes, 10 years, $112.5 million. Now, what's funny about this is yesterday there was talk about him, and I believe he said this at a coaching seminar or something along those lines down in Texas, and maybe it was like two days ago. He said something about the idea that uh, he was thinking about retiring before this past season based on how ridiculous the college football schedule had gotten over the past 12, 18 months, whatever it was, right? It just, there is no off season anymore. And we already know that Josh Pate explains that to us. We know, but he was talking about on a recruiting calendar. There is no, there's no break. You're constantly having to re-recruit your own team. You are having to go out and now recruit the transfer portal. And you've still got to recruit high school kids. Like, it is never ending. There's basically no dead period. Now, Sam Pittman has a different way of going about it, right? He explained at SEC Media Days that he makes his guys take breaks. He goes to a bunch of concerts. He does all kind of stuff. But Kirby Smart, I mean, he's he's a workaholic. He, and he was under Saban. Like, he, he learned from the best that if you want to be the best, you got to work at it. And he continues to do that. But it, it was interesting to hear him talk about uh, possibly retiring as young as he is. And I doubt that that was actually going to happen. But for him to talk about retiring and now to come out a couple of days later and he's got this massive contract, it's going to pay him more than uh, $11 million per season. Uh, the funny part, of Chris Vanini brought this up. He said, in 2021, only Nick Saban made more than $9.5 million per season. Uh, now, there's at least five coaches doing that. It's Jimbo, Kirby, believe James Franklin, and Mel Tucker, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Day, I think, may be close to that or getting close to that. Uh, you're probably going to see that from Harbaugh. I think he's up to like eight now or something, somewhere around there. So regardless, uh, I did find it funny. Parker Fleming, of course, joins me on the Bet U.S. College Football Show at Stats of War on Twitter. He said, uh, "Yeah, NIL and the transfer portal are what's ruining college football." I, yeah, I, I I agree with the sentiment he's trying to get across here that the money has just gotten ridiculous on the coaching side. But on the other side, while the players are not employees, you got to spend the money somewhere. Georgia just went through an eighty million dollar. Renovations upgrade for their football facilities. What are you going to do? I mean, toss another $50 million into it? I mean, it, you know, it makes sense. Kirby Smart is worth the money. Absolutely worth the money. So I don't think he's overpaid at all. Uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. The amount of money that comes into these, these are giant corporations. The guys that are winning at the top level uh, deserve to be paid as much. Uh, if you've ever gone back, I believe you can Google this, Google uh, the Alabama financial windfall from hiring Nick Saban. Look at where Alabama was as a school in 2006 and where they ended up in like 2010 or 2011. I mean, it is a, and now of course it's completely different, but it's a drastic change. If you hit correctly on your football coach, they are worth their weight in gold. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.